Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create fact or bluff game using Apple Keynote. Like always, I will show you the process, but I will also share the file so you'll be able to download the file. The link will be in the description, but before you go there, please wait a moment and take a look how we can create such a template for a game and how you can modify it and edit to match your needs. So here I am in the blank document very basic white template so let's get started by removing those unnecessary boxes from this first slide we need to add one box for the text so you can head to the text at the top we insert the box for the text where we can paste our our statement all right so that's not a question but a statement and then we have two options that is true or false fact or bluff so here's my statement. Of course, I can go to text menu here to modify a size, to change a font for that text and modify the color of it. All right, so that's my first statement. And now I will need two options. We will put them inside shapes. So let's head for shape. We got many different symbols, but I think I will search for some like call out boxes maybe like this one and one of those boxes one of those speech balloons will be fact and another one will be bluff so again i will insert a different one all right let's just modify some visuals all right of course we can select this shape and modify the text style inside we can modify a color of this shape as well by default i got black color here but we can of course change that so maybe for the fact let's go with blue and for the bluff, that will be more like reddish color. All right. You can use this green dot to change the corner radius. All right. I'll make it a little bit wider. And I kind of want to align them together for a moment so I can make them in similar size like that. To select two shapes, you can simply press shift while selecting. All right, so my speech bubbles are nice, but now the text is too small. So let's select both and modify the size of the text. Just by pressing this arrow up, we can change the size of the text. All right. If you would like to change the background color, you can also do it just by clicking on the empty area. And then you can pick a new color for this document. All right, maybe the text should be totally black or maybe dark blue will do. Yes, that's really nice. Dark blue is really a nice choice here. All right. So that's my first question and the answer will be fact so how can we do that we can simply make a duplicate of this slide so right click on it and duplicate and let's get rid of the wrong answer so bluff is the wrong answer and we will make the correct answer even larger huh move to the center all right That's nice. Now I will make a copy of this first slide, move it here, and then we need a new statement where we will have a false statement. All right, I changed my statement to a false statement. That's why I will make a next duplicate. And in that case, I will get rid of the fact and only put the bluff in the center like that.
So as you can see, we pre I prepare you a question that is answered with a fact and a question that is answered with the bluff. So you got all of the bases covered. You can simply reuse that, make as many copies as you need. But there's one more final touch to it. We need to set up a proper transition. So it's really important to set up a transition for this document. So let's go to Animate tab, Transitions, and let's add Effect. And we want to use Magic Move. All right, I want to use Magic Move. And I want to use this on all of my slides. So I will use Magic Move all around my document. Okay, and now we are ready to test our little fact or bluff game in Apple Keynote. Let's click play. All right. Now you can see the presenter view, but you will know what's going on. So here I on this slide, I click something. And that was fact. All right, next I move to the next question, next statement. And again, I got two options, fact or bluff. Ask my audience, and then I click one more time to reveal the correct answer. That was bluff. So keep in mind, each statement got two slides. Slide with the question, and then slide with the correct answer. So you need to duplicate both in order to add them to your own presentation. As I mentioned at the beginning, there's a link in the description for you, so you can just download this template and start using it right now. Thank you for watching and for more tutorial like this, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. I hope I will see you in the next lesson. Bye.